Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at the Falcon Northwest Tiki. So this is a high-end Slim Tower gaming PC. You might remember the Alienware X51 from earlier this year. That system costs about $999. This one goes for $2,800 in this configuration. It starts at $1,800, but this is a higher-end version. It has an overclocked Core i7 chip, as well as a GeForce 6800 GTX graphics card. So in addition to being a very fast computer, you can see that there's a granite base here in the bottom designed to sort of keep the system stable because it's a very slim system and kind of tall. It tends to be top heavy, so it's easy to knock over. To solve that problem, Falcon Northwest has gone for a polished granite base. It comes in a couple different options. Aesthetically, I'm not really sure about it. You might like it. I kind of think it looks like an Employee of the Month award, but uh, overall it does kind of do its job here. But for the system itself, Falcon has actually done some pretty cool stuff with this. The only question is if you really want to pay that much for the relatively limited Slim Tower case. So the front of the system is nice and clean. It's got this sort of sleek black look to it overall. Up here at the top, there's a slot loading Blu-ray drive as well as a couple of USB 3 jacks, as well as power, reset, and a couple audio jacks as well. Up here in the back, you'll see an upside down version of a standard PC layout. There's a couple USB ports down here, digital audio output, wireless antenna jacks, USB 3, Ethernet, eSATA, and up here you've got analog audio outs. Here in the graphics card, you've got two DVI jacks, HDMI, and DisplayPort outputs. So even though this is a Slim Tower PC, there's actually a remarkable amount of hardware in here. You can see there's a liquid cooling rig connected here to the side panel. It goes here to the overclocked CPU. It's a Core i7-3770K chip overclocked to 4.3 GHz. There's a standard 2 terabyte hard drive here, as well as a solid state drive and room for another solid state one if you wanted to. Of course, that would jack the price up. Down here, you've got 8 gigs of memory. And up here, there's the graphics card. And it's a dual wide board connected via daughter card. So design-wise, it really sets the system apart from the Alienware. It's not only the water cooling rig, but also the fact that the power supply is built into the system. The Alienware X51 had an external power supply, and it was a kind of giant brick, and only gave you 330 watts of power. Falcons managed to cram a 450 watt power supply in here, so you really don't need to worry about overclocking or the high-end graphics card maxing out the system. Of course, due to the specialized nature of the system, aside from the solid state drive, there really is no room for upgrading. So Falcon has taken the Slim Tower game PC concept well beyond what Alienware came up with. Of course, it charges more for that privilege, but you also seem to get a lot more power. The question, though, is how much do you want to pay for this when you can pay, say, $200 more for a system that's actually pretty small, but lets you use two graphics cards and is otherwise relatively equal in terms of its performance. You can find such a PC from Main Gear, which makes us wonder how good a value the system really is. Overall, I can recommend to someone who has their mind specifically set on a Slim Tower gaming PC. Otherwise, you can probably get a better deal for your money and even still have a pretty small chassis. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the Falcon Northwest Tiki.